Hey guys, Tom here. I'm playing Skyrim here. We'll wait for the Grievous to So this is the quest where you negotiate with the people in the main storyline. Yeah, I haven't played Skyrim, you know, with you guys, so I said why not? Go seat. Come on. Come on, seat. Okay, when everyone sits, uh, we'll negotiate the, the true uh, reconciliation, I guess, or maybe not. And, uh, we all wait upon you, Dragonborn. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. Yeah, let's begin this party. Your chief towers hunter. That didn't take long. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. What do you think? Are we going to let Alfred dictate terms to us before the negotiations even start? No, well, you're right. Elowen should I'm stay. Glad we see I the tower, but she, she has to stay. We walk then. No, we'll stay. Out of respect for the Dragonborn and our Greybeard hosts. But she is to observe nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Alfred, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your funds and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? You know exactly. No, not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about, unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule all the free people of Skyrim. I Silence! Silence on the dragon. The truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. Oh, thank you. I consider even talking to the vampire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? That's good. Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Yarl Ulfric. Yeah, Ulfric. General Tullius. Yeah, General Tullius. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. Yeah, my request. I yeah. ask that you all respect the spirit of High Brotherhood. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. I do not talk much. Who would like to open the negotiation? Here, the discussion. We'll have yes, to let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. I'll have General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Alfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. 
Yeah. Sure yes, that'd be entirely out of character. Uh, want to return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. The rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. You heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to post? I expected better from you, Dragonborn. I came here in good faith, despite your known Imperial sympathies. I know. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar is right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markarth, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to Nathalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false empire. Let's go, Gorm. Wolfric, stay. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Ulfric, stand, I said. Stand. Now. What? Guys, there we go, guys. You guys, surrender I'm back. your march to us and take it to our Raven throne with I you. I fixed it. Surely the builder will take over as Yarl of Mothal. Where do these demands stop, Wolfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide, although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. What say you, Dragonborn? You treat us fairly. Thank you. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. Yeah, maybe. It seems I may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces mm -hmm. Jarl Edmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Makar. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Yeah. Jarl March will be turned over to Ulfric, with Sorley the Builder assuming the Jarl ship. You both agree to this? The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to them. What about you, Alyssa? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty.